Well, hi there. This is Daniel St. Pierre from Glorious Acres here in Florida. And today I want to review, uh, give you my assessment of the, uh, the Dansha Farms uh, hand pump, uh, which, by the way, uh, I want to start off by telling you that works great. Um, got no problem with the functionality. Um, it's a bleeder hand pump, which you can find... Um, you can find online on Amazon or eBay for about $20. Um, the uh, syringe, uh, I think it's a 60 milliliter um, syringe cup, also found online for about a dollar. Um, the tubing, you can find that at your hardware store for about a dollar fifty. And they also use um, a wide mouth mason or ball jar. Um, and everything works great, looks great, uh, on the website, on uh, eBay, I think it was eBay or Amazon. Um, the pictures are um, exactly what you see here. Um, what they don't show you in the videos and or in the pictures is the bottom of the lid, which is done uh, using the seal of the, uh, both the milk and air tubes and suction tubes with blob of appears to be some sort of epoxy and um, I'm I'm sure this isn't food grade and it really complicates the cleaning process because you can never really remove these fittings here um, and clean them this is also porous we've had this for about a week now and it's still soft to the touch um, and appears to just have dried unevenly uh, I'm not sure you can tell but the color there's a color difference here between one side and the other, and quite frankly, I'm really, really disappointed that uh, none of the websites featuring this uh, apparatus, uh, they don't show you the bottom of the lid. They show you the top, and it looks very clean, um, very organized, and um, seemingly easy to clean just by removing these two fittings and removing the tubes, but um, they don't show you the, uh, the blob. <laughs> so... Um, hey, my recommendation is uh, very simple. Do it yourself. Um, I got a I got a list uh, in the description of this video. I got a list of everything you need to build this at home for about thirty dollars, and save yourself about thirty thirty five dollars. I paid uh, a little over sixty dollars for this, and um, got a bunch of Dansha Farm stickers um, placed on otherwise very generic um, parts here. So. Um, you know, and this is just really, really difficult to clean overall. Does it pump milk? Yeah. Uh, is it hard to clean? Absolutely. Is it impossible to disassemble for cleaning? Yeah. So, um, a do-it-yourself type uh, pump with fittings that would have otherwise uh, rubber washers instead of this blob of epoxy um, would be highly recommended. God knows what this is made of. It certainly is not dishwasher proof. Um, it's still not hard. Uh, it feels like putty of sort. So uh, my advice to you is um, don't buy this from Dansha Farms. If you can't make it yourself, then look for, uh, look for the hand pump systems that, uh, that use rubber washers instead of this epoxy. Um, it's a lot easier to clean and uh, after a couple hundred milkings, I tell you what, I don't even want to be taking a look at this epoxy and what, uh, see what color and what kind of mold or what kind of debris is going to be sticking to this. So this is Daniel St. Pierre from Glorious Acres. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, go ahead and uh, click the like button, uh, share with your friends, and uh, feel free to comment. God bless. Bye-bye.